What it is, what up, what up, what up, y'all already know, man, Goon City TV, we back at you guys, man, it's Saturday, weekend has started, officially, we got the big boxing fight tonight, we also got UFC tonight, it's a lot of things going on, man, the bars, the clubs is turning up, hopefully you guys do something nice and something fun, man, enjoy it, let's get to this one for now, let's get a little entertainment right here with us. So let's run it back. Right now, there's a rumor, there's a theory going around that maybe it is true. Adam22 and Remo from No Jumper have been giving us small little clues that they're not playing when they say they is two cops. And what I mean is, Bando KD was just in an interview with them. And then days later, when he gets back to his city, he gets arrested and charged for a murder. Of a 12 year old young girl. Man. Before we start, we let's hit that like button real quick. Thumbs up, paint it blue, help the channel. We do this for you. And that way we continue to bring you guys more entertainment on this channel and YouTube. You guys already know where to get it, man. So do the drill, do the drill, hit it, hit it with the switchy. Like, like, thumbs up. Let's go. So we over here once again, like I said, Bando KD. Chicago rapper just got locked up unfortunately man things is looking really terrible for him man he's really in a hot seat a 12 year old girl lost her life they have him as a suspect arrested him and two others they got video camera video footage of the scene of them actually you know shooting out in the middle of the street and then Pretty much now, I guess they have real, real hard evidence that Bando KD and these two other suspects were the three young men in those hoodies and ski. Which, of course, which, of course, can still be, you know, brought to a trial if Bando KD gets a good attorney and uh, pretty much tries to challenge that how is it that you're able to tell that that was Bando KD under that hoodie and that night vision type of camera footage and also you know that it's not just someone trying to go after him because he has some type of little clout artist momentum motion going on so but it seems like if they really came for him there has to be real evidence and you know somebody a witness who testified who called in and put Bando Kitty and these two other men in a really, really bad situation. Oh my God, all these hoes getting bald. Fuck you talking like, about? Like, are you fucking all of them? No, hey, just don't be trying to be funny and then come to my mouth. I get fucking like this. You. This ain't take sad. Take that bonnet off. Them stale ass cracks. Bitch, who said take my bonnet off and I get you back? That's why I say what you did, bitch, when you kicked out the door, you back. Take that So there you go, you guys were able to see that clip of that young lady that knows Bando KD allegedly did this, you know, murder and she literally roasted him, put him on blast, exposed it on live so everyone can hear the other girl that was on the spit screen as well seemed like she knew about this and she started laughing so hard and as you can see Bando KD dipped out of there left the chat and then as quick as that whoever was running the live also ended the live so shit, that's crazy so a lot of people are saying man could it have been this young lady that went and finally you know called cpd and put in the you know 
the theory, the alleged word in the trenches that it was Bando KG and these two that she knew that she had some type of evidence that he testified to her at a party or something or such and such testified that they had you know they knew it was Bando KD somebody had to call in CPD and let them know man so this young lady seemed like she was really really you know fully convinced that it was Bando KD as you can hear on the live Could it have been, you know, this young lady or another young lady or maybe another just somebody hating back at home after they saw Bando KD go all the way to Los Angeles. They got a whole plane ticket paid for, got a whole hotel paid for by Adam 22 and No Jumper to go to this interview. They go to the interview. It's a big platform. And then they get paid like a good pie, $2,000 or such, man, for the interview. So maybe somebody at home, when they saw that they finally made it to this big platform on YouTube, all the way in Los Angeles, they started feeling some type of weight, man. They started probably hating on Bando KD, on DIY, and the other member that had gone with him. They probably started feeling salty, a little jealousy, and said, All right, they think they, they, they big and bad now. Wait till I make this phone call. Kind of reminds me of that movie scene from Belly where uh, the guy, the other drug dealer that's eating the banana outside sees DMX and them pulling up in nice cars and knows that they're making money, messing up his business, kind of taking his custody. So he goes and he says, yeah, I'm going to drop a dime on them. I'm going to drop a dime. Pretty much saying, man, I'm going to get them out the way. They think they're flexing on me. They're doing too good. I'm going to go ahead and turn them into the cops so I can mess up the emotion. And there's another theory as well right now. People are actually starting to believe Adam 22 and Remo are actually real cops or have some type of, you know, connection to some of these detectives, police, gang unit, somebody where they actually do this on purpose and try to interview them questions that the police already have these artists on their radar and already have you know enough to charge them but they use Adam 22 and Remo to bring them on the platform and ask them all types of real real criminalization incriminate themselves with questions on the no jumper so that when they do get charged these police and DEA can use you know these interviews and these questions from officer remo and adam 22 they can use these questions and such on in trial and present them to the jury and say look this is what they were saying this is how they were carrying themselves they were speaking about they have ops they're talking about they steal cars they were talking about that they um you know they usually never lack in and such on man so remo officer remo sends a lot of real police questions and little does he know these questions can be used in trial by the dea against these you know individuals when they get caught up like this the oh, cops ask me about y'all all the time i don't tell them nothing what what, what, what was this i had the chicago pd on my line earlier asking me if i could uh, get some some information about you guys behind the scenes yeah okay Start like, the hey, please report back to us hey give me the glock right now we have a whole arrangement no nah, hell no nah. i've been going back know. i've been giving them all kinds of info no 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 we're not doing that i might be the cops ask me about y'all all the time. I don't tell them nothing. What? What, what, what was this? I had the Chicago PD on my line earlier asking me if I could uh, get some, some information about you guys behind the scenes. Yeah, okay. Start like, the hey, guy. Please report back to us. Hey, give me the Glock right now. We have a whole arrangement. No, nah, hell no. Nah. I've been going back. No. I've been giving them all kinds of info. No, no, no. We not doing that. See me and Remo, that's two cops. Trying to pimp a trench. Two wild. This East Leaf got a few ops. See me and Remo, that's two cops. Trying to pimp a trick. 
So there it is, there it is, man. A lot of people are saying Remo and Adam 22 are helping the state, helping the DEA crack down on these rappers, mess up their career, mess up their life. And they're helping them by asking these questions so that the DEA and them can use this footage. Per, and like I said, use it at trial against them. Wow. So y'all be careful out there. Be careful with Officer Remo. So y'all already know, man. I'm keep you guys posted up with Bando KD as of right now. He doesn't have a bond. He's going to be sitting in there waiting for another bond hearing. And such on. We're going to see if he's going to be able to post that. And what else happens, man? We're going to keep you guys updated with this story. My condolences to a 12-year-old little girl's family, her parents, her family members, her friends, and such on, man. I'm sorry for the loss. But we will continue to provide information. Shout out everybody that's going to go lock in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. What do you guys feel? What do you guys think about Officer Remo, Adam 22, asking these police questions? Then suddenly they get arrested a week later back in Chicago. Happened to BA757. Happened to Bando KD. Happened to G Face from White Fence back in Los Angeles. Happened to a lot of other rappers, and I'm not, I can't, you know, be quick to bring them all up in the list, but there's been a few, a lot, like a handful at least. Y'all be careful, man. Hit the comment section, let me know.